New week and so a new animal is up to take the title of Animal of the Week. This week we take a look at a piece of artwork by the late great Pablo Picasso. He personally went out and painted each and every one of the countless number of these individual bugs with unique patterns just because he thought it would be funny and a good way to kill time. Of course I am joking, but these bugs are very aptly named because their markings do look exactly like something Pablo Picasso might paint. Their real name is Sveo Rocoris Anullus, and they are a member of the family Scutella Ridae, making them a species of jewel bug. They are also sometimes known as the Zulu Hud bug, owing to part of their distribution extending into the Zulu kingdom in South Africa, with their Zulu name being this word, which I am not going to try and pronounce because it would be cringy. The exact patterns and size of their brilliantly coloured backs vary between individuals, however one constant is that they will always have the 11 roundish dots that form the centrepieces of their artistic colourations. These bugs have an absolutely huge range across Africa, inhabiting almost all parts of the continent below the Sahara, from Sierra Leone in the far west, all the way to Ethiopia in the east, and from Ethiopia down to South Africa in South Africa. Within this huge range, they inhabit various host plants, and owing to living in such diverse locations, these host plant species obviously will vary wildly. They inhabit Arabic coffee plants, cotton plants, citrus plants, Vernonia amygdalina, known as bitter leaves, as well as many others. These plants are all generally very nutritious plants and will allow the bugs a good solid food source in the arid parts of its range, which is where it is most common. As is said, these bugs live and feed upon various different plants. In particular, they will feed upon the nutritious juices and nectar from the fruits, stems and flowers of these plants, which allow them to gain a lot of moisture in a very arid climate. They have a piercing proboscis that allows them to suck liquid out of plants like a straw. The issue these bugs face is the fact that the plants they most commonly feed upon, citrus, cotton and coffee, are all crop plants farmed by humans and so they can become quite a nuisance to farmers, who will then seek to kill them through various means. This is bad for the Picasso bugs, as it makes their feeding practices all the more dangerous. Interestingly, unlike the vast majority of bugs in their family, the Picasso bug does not display any forms of sexual dimorphism, with the males and females being the same general size of 6.3mm in length, and with no major structural differences between bodies. The Picasso bugs reproduce at the beginning of the dry season, which is November to December. After fertilisation, the females lay their eggs on the underside of leaves. Once hatched, the bugs will take about two months to grow into their adult selves, and as nymphs will usually stay in the plant they were laid on, feeding upon the the nectar from its flowers. Various theories exist as to why these bugs are so colourfully patterned, but the most concrete and likely reason is aposmatism. This is where an animal uses bright colours to warn predators that they are toxic, venomous or poisonous, or just generally dangerous. A lot of the time this is a bluff, for example hoverflies which use the bright yellow and black patterns of wasps to trick predators into thinking they can sting them, but in actual fact they are completely harmless. However with the Picasso bug the aposmatism is not a bluff, as they are able to produce very noxious odours when threatened, which can be very off-putting to small animals like other insects trying to eat it. Their ability to do this is not at all surprising, as they are very closely related to stink bugs, as they are both part of the same superfamily, Pentatomoidea. Obviously the Picasso bug goes to great lengths to not be eaten, and so it must therefore logically be eaten by something. Generally due to their tiny size, they can be eaten by a lot of things, from small birds of the regions they live in, to larger insects, mammals and insects, because let's face it, it's a small juicy bug, nothing's really going to say no to it if they have the chance, unless they deploy their stink defence. It also has wings and the ability to fly, like many bugs can, and so it will be able to fly from plant to plant if attacked by predators. Humans do pose a threat to them, mostly through the use of pesticides, because the Picasso bugs do like to feed upon commercial crops. But the IUCN states that their overall populations are stable as of right now. However, there is thought to be a very slight decline, which is mainly due to habitat loss due to desertification and the farming of crops they might not feed upon. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it and if you'd like to see more from us.